Alright, welcome back to Soup to Nuts, you guys. So in this video, we are going to be outside working on my adult kiddie pool. Stay tuned. You're saying, Angie, what's an adult kiddie pool? I mean, little kids have kiddie pools. Can't adults have kiddie pools? Oh, yes, they can. I'm going to show you what I have. There it is, folks. An adult kiddie pool. Now, the pipe coming down is just because I use that to drain my pool so it wouldn't run all my rocks. So I had it filled and it was brown water. And I was like, I don't want brown water. I don't want to try and filter it for like 20 million days. So I drained it this morning. And we were going to put in house water. I could not keep the air in my... Um, oh my gosh that my pump thank you so I couldn't keep the air and it was always sucking air and so I was like well maybe it's because my filter is much lower so I went and got some cinder box today we had some but I needed some more because I'm gonna raise it up some and hopefully that will help with you know the uh, air going into my filter not my filter into my pump so that is what we are going to be working on now these are the cinder blocks that we had already I know I need at least three blocks. And they're going to need to be level. Is this a new one? Leveling. I hate leveling. It's the worst. Yes, it is. It is the worst. Alright, you guys. I had to change angle. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. But I brought in some brick that we have left over. So, I brought my tamper, which you see right there. Um, I'm going to see if I can tamp some of that down to try and make it somewhat level. Uh, yeah. I had to put my phone in the shade because sitting out in the sun it turned off because my phone was overheating so I'm gonna put this down and uh, move those bricks all right let's pound it and uh, try and get this freaking dirt level my worst thing to do Let's see how level these are. Doesn't appear to be very level. I feel like it's still going down in an angle. All right, I got the handy dandy level. Well, right there you can see these are too high. Either I make this side go down Yep, definitely this side needs to go down. I'll show you when I'm done leveling it. All right, time to re-level it. See if it's still level. It's between the two lines. That's all that matters, right? I'm going to say it's good for government work. As long as it's pretty much... Oh, shoot. Oh, there it is. I say, I did pretty good. I'm so good. <laughs> I'm never this lucky, you guys. You guys, I am going to trip myself. I'm putting on some new ones. Yes. Whoops. Why do I always want to stick them the wrong way? Ooh, that was easy. Easy mistake there. Let's 
check for level again. Woo, baby. Still the same. Let me make sure I can see it. Sorry, folks. At least I was able to get it level. All right, I think I'm just going to go two blocks high. I think that will do 100 times better than what it was before. I can't believe how easy I, I was able to get it level. No, it says that, but let me double check. At least it's level every way around how it's sitting. So I'm going to call that good for government work, folks. around here. I think that's how I want it. Now here comes the hard part. Lifting this filter up in there. All right, you guys, I got it in. I had a little trouble trying to get this the filter in because, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, so many stuff. I had to get the legs in this little part right there, so I was having a hard time. Plus, you know, I'm just a little short thing and that's a little heavy and I'm lifting it up and, but I got it in there, right? So the next thing I did was I just attached this hose to the end. So it comes out from the swimming pool, in through the filter, comes up, through the hose, I mean not the filter, through the pump, into the filter, down, and then it comes out here, back into the pool. And when I have to backwash it to clean the filter, this is the backwash port. Okay? This little thing tells you when you're backwashing it how dirty your water is, and then when it clears up, then you know your filter is clean, and you can put, turn it back to filter. Always clockwise. And then this is supposed to tell you, you know, when the pressure, you know, your filter sp stays in the green when it starts getting in the yellow. And if it's really in the red, whoops, if it's really in the red, you definitely know you need to clean your filter. But if it's in the green, then you're still good. Higher up between, it's probably a good idea just to Hit the backwash. All right. So let's attach some hoses and see how this works out. All right. So I got my hose going, and Steve came out and said, "Oh, I thought you're gonna do it over there." Yeah, but I wanted it over here. I thought, but I'm not moving it because I did an awesome job, and I probably won't get it awesome there. So. The idea was to have this hose hook up to this, so when the hose is running, I can use that to um, vacuum my pool with, but I can still use this for my skimmer. But now I just got to hook up that hose to here and fill up my pool and test it out. All right, as you can see, it's the next morning, you guys, and I finally got my pool cleaned up. I got my skimmer basket hooked up, my pump and filter are going good. So I'll turn you around and show you the final product. There it is, that's my setup. That's called the no drill setup. I just have the hoses hanging over it. But I got a skimmer basket so it would help clean the top so I don't have to do a lot of cleaning on the top. But there it is, folks. That is how I hooked up my pump. So the pump is up higher. And it just goes over, goes down, and it connects to the air port that came with the filter and the pump. That's normally what you would plug in to shoot out the water on your outtake. 
So what you do is you unscrew the part that shoots the water out and then you just screw in that little blue attachment that came with your pool sweep and you just hook it up to your pipe and then you just hang it over the edge and uh, it skims the top of your pool really really well and then on my outtake it's just my hose and I made a PVC pipe and I got some adapters last year for them so that I could hook them up to PVC pipes from I don't know what size of pipe that is but it did the job so I thought maybe I wanted to hardwire it but I didn't want to cut up all my my tubing just in case it didn't want to work I'm good with it I just sit in my floaty and float around we're going some berry bushes and this is still a work in progress my little pool area my pool doesn't stay here year-round once the swimming season's over it gets drained and put away and uh, we have this nice lovely sitting area but yeah there you go folks adult kitty pool all right thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video bye